guys so today i filmed this uh, look for you and as from the title you can already guess that this is for valentine's day i saw people doing valentine's day look all over the internet so i thought why not me so i did one this is the one and i'm going to be talking you through the whole tutorial which is coming up next so if you want to see how i got this look please keep on watching A little bit of it and apply it to my t-zone because we want this makeup to last all night it's Valentine's Day <laughs> so I'm just pushing it in with my finger make sure you wash your hands before you put anything on your face so next thing I'm gonna go in with is a foundation and this is the MAC uh, Mineralize foundation I got this from Nykaa the other day so this is how it looks like so I'm gonna go in with a dense brush so just digging in the product and applying it to the face Next, I'm going to conceal and I'm using the Boing Concealer in 03. This is some industrial strength shit, I'm telling you. So I'm going to take it in my finger and I'm going to apply it under my eyes on the dark circles. I'm also going to use the same concealer as my eye base so that I really have oily eyelids so I have to use concealers and then what I do is I set it with a powder so that my eye shadow doesn't move at all then I'm going to powder my face with this uh, mineralized powder by MAC and it's in medium gold. So it looks like this. It's really powdery. I just bought it yesterday and I'm going to be using a powder brush. This is pack 335. So I'm just going to... Ooh, it is so powdery. I'm going to take it and use it to set my face can you see this fallout in here it's really really powdery next i'm going to set my under eyes so that i don't crease so i'm using the mac prep and prime powder yes it's the mac prep and prime powder and my favorite setting brush this is like a pointed and also a little bit fluffy brush. It's from Pack again, 262. I really like it because it's so pointed. It goes perfectly in the inner corner of the eyes. So perfect. So I just use it to set my under eyes. And also a little bit on the top of my eyes. So that my eyeshadows don't move anywhere. For my eyes, I'm going to go with this eyeshadow palette from MAC again. It's becoming a whole MAC tutorial. Uh, it's the burgundy palette. And in the burgundy palette, I am going to first go in with this shade over here in the corner. These two shades look very similar to each other. So either one of them you can put, put for your initial color. So I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush and use that color on the crease.
Next, I'm going to go in with a synthetic eyeshadow brush. A synthetic eyeshadow brush picks up more product uh, than the natural hair one. So I'm going to go in with this shade over here. So I'm just packing the shade and I'm going to put this on the lid. Ooh, I really like this color. This is nice. Now that I'm happy with this color, I'm going to go in with the 217 brush. I'm just going to, you know, blend any harsh edges that we have here. Next, I'm going to go in with a smaller fluffy brush and this is pack 203. It's a duo fiber brush and I am going to pick up this color over here in the corner. It's a nice purpley shade, so I'm just going to take it with the brush tap the extras and i'm just going to concentrate in the outer corner of the eye so next i'm going to go ahead with glitters as you can already see i've done it in one eye so i'm going to take this angled brush from pack this is pack three and four three one four and i'm going to take MAC Studio Fix Plus and I'm going to spray it wet. Why I'm doing this is because I don't want the glitters to fall over, all over my eyes and I'm going to pick up the glitter on the brush like so. Let's dump the excess and I'm going to start applying it on my eyes. Um, I'm just going to deepen the outer corner with this corner color a little bit. For lower lash line, I'm just using the same brush and the same corner shade and going in at the outer corner. So that's it. I'm not going to be adding any eyeliner. So I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown mascara. This is the smoky smoky eye mascara so i'm just going to apply some mascara i'm going to finish the other eye with the mascara and finish my eyebrows and eyebrows. okay so for blush i'm going to use this mac fluor power and i'm using real technique brush this is a multi-purpose brush so i'm just going to swirl this around tap the excess and gently apply it on the cheek for my glow today i'm going to use my go-to nyx strobe genius illuminating palette i just love this stuff so much i am going to use this one over here this color and i am going to take a setting yes contour brush from real technique and i'm going to be twirling my brush around it so that the product is collected all over the brush and then just applying it on the highest points of my cheeks i don't want like too much glow on my cheeks going on because i have a glitter eye i want the eyes to be the focus so just going to add a little bit of it and then again for the other cheek I'm going in with the brush twirling it around and last but not the least on your nose For lips, I'm going to go with um, Nykaa's Sinful Blush 06M. 
So this looks like there's a pretty pink color. So the glitter I was using was from the Faces Glitter Stack, I forgot to mention. I was using the pink glitter from this. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. You can now uh, switch off this video and go somewhere else. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like, comment, uh, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you in my next video. So bye! Happy Valentine's Day! Bye!